Hi, this is Abhinav, a product specialist with Informatica. In this video, we are going to see how to start or stop a service using command line. The agenda of this presentation would be to understand how or why we need command line to enable or disable a service and how would we be using Infra CMD to achieve the same, followed by a demo. Okay, why do we need to start or stop a service from command line when we have admin console to do the same? Okay, we usually enable or disable a service using admin console, but command line can be used when the admin console is down or if you have scheduled maintenance when you wouldn't want manual intervention to manage services. You could also have clone jobs to take care of these scenarios and use command line utility for the same. Okay, Infra CMD is a command uh, which we would be using to achieve this and uh, in this particular uh, video we would be using infra cmd enable service and disable service so if you want further information on infra cmd you could go through the help document or you could run infra cmd sh help to get further details okay now let's uh, start with the demo okay this th uh, these are the services listed here and uh, let us uh, try to disable is underscore test and then enable it using command line and for cmd dot sh uh, disable service because it is enabled at this point of time so by doing this you would get the options that are required and uh, I would be giving the command with options right now the default username and password just for the sake of the demo service name would be is underscore test yeah. so mode is about you could also choose uh, complete or stop depending on the use case so in this case we just want to abort it so let's go with abort you know the command has run successfully let's see let's see if the service is disabled yeah so it is reflected in uh, admin console that it is disabled if you would like to enable it you use enable service at this place and the service should be up by now oh yeah it is yeah. so this is how you disable or enable a service from command line the best part is you could you could as well disable or enable an admin console from here so in case uh, your admin console goes down you can you could enable it from the command line so this is this is one of the best use cases to use enable or disable service thank you uh, that's about it and you could follow us at support videos at informatica.com or uh, to Twitter and for support. Thank you.